Hello and welcome to Geb's Videos, where today we look at the First Presbyterian Church and Graveyard, which is the oldest church and graveyard located in Knoxville, Tennessee. Now this church is on the National Register of Historic Places, and it is also said to be haunted. The oldest grave in the graveyard is that of William Blunt, who was territorial governor and died March 21st, 1800. Other people buried in the church graveyard are that of James White, the founder of Knoxville, Reverend Samuel Carrick, the first minister of Knoxville, Hugh Lawson White, a candidate for U.S. Presidency in 1836, who was also endorsed by President Abraham Lincoln. Colonel John Williams, a member of Congress. And then the last person buried in the graveyard is that of James Bell, who died April 29th, 1879. Story is that local Knoxvillian Adolph Hawks, who worked at the local newspaper, was scared to walk by the graveyard at night, so instead he would work all night at the Captain Rules newspaper. A ghost said to be seen in the graveyard is that of Abner Baker. He was a Confederate soldier who argued with a Unionist named Will Hall. Hall ended up beating up Baker, but Baker shot and killed Will Hall and immediately went to jail. A mob of Unionists came and pulled Baker from jail and hung him for days. Knoxvillians say they saw his ghost hanging from the tree and eventually walking the streets and in the graveyard. So if you're ever in Knoxville, Tennessee, be sure to check out the First Presbyterian Church and Graveyard. See if you can see any ghosts.